we just saw Holy is the perfect time to play with color, and we can also add to that to our makeup. And here with some of her favorite ways is beauty editor Bahar Nirwala. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Good, thank you. And I love that, yes, all of us can participate, especially when it comes to our makeup routine, but I wanted to actually share the meaning or symbolism behind some of these colors, because I think that shifts when you know that, and then you pop it on your face. Oh, I right? love that. Okay, so let's kick things off with the color blue. It is having a moment regardless right now this spring. Mm -hmm. So what's the meaning behind it when it comes to holy? Blue is all about uh, compassion and calm. It's also known as the color of the gods in the South Asian community, which okay. is very lovely. So I'm gonna suggest skip your blue eyeshadow like the 60s and 70s and go for a blue liner or blue mascara. Okay, it's oh, super quick and easy, okay. yeah. So these two options are from Maybelline New York. We have this beautiful liquid <laughs> With liner, go for it. I'm just looking at her. I'm like, just a little, just a little, little wing on the end. Just, just, no, close your eyes. Okay. This one has a beautiful 30 hour wear heads up, so it's not going oh, anywhere. Yeah, you're popping that. that on. Just a nice just little a pop, little, right? No reaction. It's just it's, kind of like it's in couple weeks. <laughs> It's super subtle. Or the other option is you can go with that Sky High Lash Sensational <laughs> Mascara. Oh, you want me to do it? Let me do it. Let me do, do it for her. <laughs> and what you're going to get out of this is that beautiful bright pop of color, but just on the tips. And I'm going to show you that brush that you're using yeah. helps with that length and volume. It's a, called a Flex Tower look, Brush. But look a hint it's of just blue, a hint, guys. right? Just a little touch of it, and you can get into that whole calm and compassionate feeling. Do too. you feel more calm and more compassionate? <laughs> oh, <laughs> watery, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Ah! That's pretty. That's impactful. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love that. Okay, so then we're moving on. Um, let's talk about the color green. Yes. I love green. So green is beautiful. Sometimes green can be a little bit intimidating when it comes to the face, unless you're doing just a simple dark green. You're gonna do me next? And I'm suggesting, yeah. Okay. Grab do yourself a beautiful. Are we doing it on the pop. top or the bottom? Go for it. This just is color. It. Have fun with it, right? Because green is all about <laughs> oh renewal and rebirth and that springtime there. So this is this silky eye pencil from Pixie by Petra, and that shade is called Pixie Green. Y'all are really quiet. No, no, no. Look. We're just hating to have you face you the front of the face. Right? Just a tiny, nice, the tiniest bright bit. Move your head a little bit that more that way. There we go. I'm trying to see what you just did to me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and All if right, you I'm, are, we'll I'm, I'm going to tell you though, if you are nervous about, that's right. That's, that's you're, you're very brave. Yeah. If you are nervous about popping this on the eyes, easy way to do it is actually on the tips, right? Wear it on your nails. Oh. Green is having a moment in the nail polish world. Great options from Cute. Essie. That one is from their Expressi line. So that's a quick dry formula. Ooh. And the other shade I love is called Cactus Jelly. So it has that translucent Give me a finger. <laughs> Give me a finger, finish. Cynthia Lewis. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Happy, oh, bright I'm spring. Kind of right? Super happy. I can't really see. I don't have my glasses on, but that's oh, all right. We're gonna look at right? how happy that is. Nice that's and beautiful. poppy. I was afraid. Okay, we're gonna go from green or yellowish to orange. <laughs> yes. um, what is what is that meaning? What does it stand for during the festival? Of this colors? is all about uh, strength and courage. When Ooh. you think about the sun, it's a center of the universe, right? This yes. is where you. And so that's what you want to have. That if you're gonna wear orange, you gotta go bold. I'm gonna okay. say go opaque, go nice and intense. There are some beautiful blush colors and eyeshadows from Nars. This one's called Taj Mahal. This one's called Persia in the Ooh, front. Ooh, I like that. It's a rusty orange, but that you've got over there mm -hmm. is actually a new, it's actually at the other end. There I'm you like, go. <gasps> I was like, she's turning okay. it. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything. I'm like, there we go. That's from Nude Sticks. I'm going to say you can do a monochromatic <laughs> look and pop this all over See? the face. Let's do it. Let's do it. Are we yeah. doing it? Yeah. Go okay. for it. Just a little on the cheeks. A little bit more intense. Now there you, you need go. The brush, the That's brush right. And the now brush at the around. other end. And yeah, because otherwise I'm a little clowny. You can apply this to the no, eyes I'm gonna leave and the cheeks I'm gonna leave and the lips Subtle. as well. Subtle. It's just, but it makes a right? difference, Subtle. right? It's a pop of color. Love I it. love that. Really okay. beautiful. All right, so red is trending everywhere. Fashion, red carpet everywhere. Talk yeah. to us about this color. And so, the, so red in a lot of cultures, not just South Asian, but a lot of cultures, is associated with love and passion. It's the color you wear when you're getting married oh. in a lot of cultures as well. But red at the end of the day, yes, it's having a moment in fashion, but heads up, this is the little black dress of the beauty world, right? You can never go wrong with a red lip. I want red lip lips on. are where it's at. And I have classic Canadian shades. That's from MAC Cosmetics. This is their Ooh. Maximal Silky Matte Lipstick. So they've reimagined their lipsticks, but now it has a beautiful finish on the lips. <gasps> it's hydrating. I, that shade, I believe, is called Lady Danger. You know who does mistaken. a really good red lip? One, Cynthia Lois. She, I she love does a good sure pop does. on the lips. Beautiful, nice. bright pop. And then right? for those who are a little bit nervous, which I'm gonna put my hand up when it comes to wearing red lips, we have an option from Watier. This is their Caring Lip Oil in the shade Fraise, okay. which is French so for strawberry, do it. right? Do it, It's do a it. beautiful, no, glossy finish of a red. I already have a beautiful pop. It's fine. It's fine. 
Yes. But this is also, in terms of formulation, this is never going to leave your purse. It's such a beautiful okay. lip oil. Okay. So okay. lovely. Okay, so let's move on to purple. What is yes. the meaning behind it? Mm -hmm. So this is all about uh, magic and mystery, but it's also associated with wisdom, okay? So we're talking about, like, rich, deep purples, but also mm -hmm. in the beauty world, this is about bright lavenders, and this was all over the Golden Globes carpet. There was multiple beautiful women who were sporting purple Ooh. eyeshadows or purple lips. And I'm going to say, again, if you're going to pop this on, you want to go with something impactful. Okay. So find a makeup artist brand like Makeup Forever. They do pigment really well in these beautiful eyeshadow colors. But if you're going to pop this on the lips, oh, this one not, do. you do you can go. Lips? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Gonna, gonna this is from e.l.f. It's their Pout Clout. It's such a beautiful plummy shade. It's going to look so good on so many skin tones. I already have oh. one. And then, oh, it yeah. looks gorgeous. And if you're doing a 90s I'm getting look, head nods. you wear that lip liner from e.l.f. as well, but just oh. on the outside to get kind of like that 90s Naomi Campbell, Mary J. Blige look. And then pop this on in the center. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh. There okay. you go. Done and done. Going home with me. All right. So our very last <laughs> Our last color is one of my favorites, pink. Talk yeah. to us about this color. Pink is, uh, it's the color of joy and youth and happiness, right? There yeah. is joy to be had in pink, and pink works on everyone's skin tone. And just had a major moment with Barbie. Exactly. And yeah. if you're talking pink, you're talking Charlotte Tilbury <gasps> because she knows what she's doing. You this is their matte like. beauty look blush one. That's this. pink pop. It's a beautiful, bright okay, pink. Wait. And this one is just off the top. Oh, pop Pillow it. talk. There you go. Okay. Works on you so many different skin tones. You know, <laughs> you're like the expert. But I am going to say one thing. We've talked about heavy, pigmented, intense <laughs> color layers. Ladies, and oh. I can't, I, I can't finish without saying we have to take it off. Please remember that. So there is their new hydrating cleansing oh. duo. This is their biphase makeup remover. So please remove your makeup at the end of the day. Oh, even and if you're really, 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 I really, beg really you, tired. just this stuff is going to rip off a lot of that waterproof makeup. And then their cleanser also has hyaluronic acid. So you're not going to feel like you're stripping all of that stuff off your face. Oh, it's going it to leave your really skin easily. feeling very smooth and calm. But again, if you're popping all this pigment yeah. off, you gotta take it off at the end that of the day. That is amazing. Bahar, thank you for the bringing all Thank you for today. <laughs> so make sure you head to our YouTube channel after the show for a recap of all this, these products. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.